but never give up that vision no matter, no matter how hard it gets. Hope you have been well. I have been well. Once again, it's time for a new video. This one is my gift to you. This is not a request video, but looking at all the questions that have been coming through, uh, many people just wonder, well, how do you make it in the diaspora or wherever you are? And I'm gonna share what has helped me, what I've seen help others a lot. First thing, it's good to understand that you can prosper wherever you are. Uh, if there's even one person where you are who is like you and living this the life you want in your area, it means it is possible for everybody. However, it is also good to know that for many of us, we are attached to a place. We have clicked it in our minds that if I get to America, if I get to Australia, if I go to South Africa, if I go to Mombasa, I will prosper. If this is you, then so be it, so be it. I think the first and most important thing for all people traveling is, or going to live in another country, is you have got to have a vision and a grand vision. A, a vision so big that you, it kind of sort of scares you. Like, oh my God, uh, can I really do that? And believe it is possible. Write about it, collect images that remind you of it, put them somewhere where you can see. Find scriptural, uh, scriptural writings from your faith of choice or from writers. Uh, words from writers that really empower you and uh, keep saying them continuously find songs that make you feel that this is possible to hold on to that vision when you go over like when when you're uh, surrounded by family and circumstances seem okay and normal and predictable you may have this amazing vision of what you could do and what is possible but when you go to the country you're going to and you find that oh my goodness i have got to go to the bottom i'm now the cook the cleaner the groundsman whatever the gatekeeper and that vision just seems almost uh impossible that is when you need that vision plaster that vision everywhere so you keep reminding yourself when you seem to feel lost and it's going to happen by the way that where you feel like oh i think i made a huge mistake i should get on that jet back home take out your words your for have a party for one paste it everywhere i cannot underscore how important this is for you if you want to be successful. Okay, so now you have a dream, you're holding on to it, come hell or high water. The next thing you need to do is be flexible. Be flexible to the next thing that comes in. So you might be cleaning, but then you meet somebody somewhere in the cafeteria or in the bus, and this somebody is telling you where they work. So if it sounds like something you need, jump on it. So be flexible and open to whatever is kind of the next thing that is to me very important. Whatever you do, do it unbelievably well. But most of us probably never did some of the chores that we are going to go do. And so, and we always looked at those people who did those chores as less than, lower class, whatever we want to call it, poor. When you go find yourself, you're now the poor guy and you are those people that you used to uh, make fun of, despise, and you start to look down on yourself and be like, oh my gosh, I have come lower, not higher. Whatever that is, you need to do it with such excellence that everybody knows how well you're doing it. That is going to get you to your vision. Make it a habit to be excellent in whatever you do. Schooling is the same thing. Why? People notice. The people who matter will notice. And you will get promotions, you will get scholarships, you will get invited to certain places and see certain people and it will get you closer to your 
vision. You're going to observe some people who came uh, before you and are just kind of there, like, oh, uh, you know, this is what I'm doing. I can send some money home. I can live a little bit. I don't need to work that hard. Or, uh, you know, like, like, why do you need to work that hard? Why do you need to clean so hard? It's just cleaning. Just do it quick, quickly. You go, don't do that. Don't do that because God creator spirit is watching your attitude. You get blessed through that. If you're excellent in little, you will be excellent in much. The next thing, and this is really hard because when you leave home, uh, you're used to support. You're used to just being comfortable where you are and knowing it's home. It will become crystal clear for so many reasons that you're not home. There is no support. And so what ends up happening to many people is you find your people. Like I'm from Kenya, so I'll find Kenyans, some or other international people because you can commiserate together. They understand what you're going through. The difference is everybody is mixed in there. The drunks, uh, the thieves, the very hardworking people the people don't care the extremely wealthy people don't need to study their parents have money all these people are in one space and you just feel yourself like loving every person that can speak your language and you may catch yourself sucked into lifestyles and ways of being that you would have never uh, seen yourself you know in ways you'd have never seen yourself back home you have to be discerning as to whether or not this is going to get you where you want. Easiest way to do that is look at people around you. If they, have, if they haven't accomplished or they don't look like they're on their way to accomplishing what you want, then that's not your group. Be very discerning. Next thing that is really going to help you is have some kind of a spiritual practice. I say spiritual because some people are not religious. But if you don't have something to anchor yourself spiritually, you will find yourself lost and wandering. I say the easiest way to find out what is going to nurture your spirit, your heart, your person, is find what you're passionate about. Find a way to do that continuously. That is a spiritual practice. It nurtures your soul. It makes you feel whole. Uh, usually the creative things are the good ones to, to go to. If you belong to like a spiritual, uh, a, a religion, then you have those groups there. Join them, practice with them. Another thing that you need to consider really is um, hold on to the family that is supportive from afar. So keep a healthy connection. I say that because as things get tougher, you find yourself not writing, not communicating, you're distancing yourself. Create a plan. When you see me, I don't write for a month, also please connect with me. This is what's happening. So you need ju non-judging relationships at home. Very, very uh, important. The next thing that I think to me is crucial. If you're going to another country and you're not going to school, so you're going to work or you're going to be with your spouse or such a thing, I encourage you to learn something. Go to school, study something. I don't care what, just study something because whether you're old or young, this keeps your, your mind activated it keeps you open to ideas, suggestions. Uh, it gets you to see a different kind of person than you're used to in your circle. So, you know, the, in, the networking process is, you know, it just begins to advance. Also, any training that you get in a Western country as of now is very usable anywhere else in the world. As of now, that may not be in the future, we don't know. But as of now, whether it's a nursing, knitting, uh, anything, you get that certificate that says, I have this, it's going to always help you. This is the last thing and so very important. Whatever your grand dream is, don't tell it to people. 
I cannot emphasize that big enough. You can talk about the class you're taking, you can talk about the dance you're going to. The minute you start uttering those, it starts to dissipate. You start, people start telling you why it cannot happen. Or you start to hear ideas about how difficult that is. So go and tell no one that's between you and your soul and creator. So that's it. I hope that will help somebody. And now the holidays are upon us. And I want to say a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa. Have a fantastic, joy-filled, safe, hopeful holiday season. Bye-bye.